So I'm getting myself a new car. And it's going to be electric. I'm planning on parking and charging the car on this concrete slab here. But the car is physically too big to fit behind these gates. So I need to move all of this outwards and build a new one. Let's do it. Shut up and sit down. Somehow, this little hole equates to all of that. Go figure. Well, I won't lie to you. That sucked. I am probably about 20 centimetres down, and I need to go down 60. Well, I've hit blue clay and it sucks. I'm literally removing it about a centimetre at a time, working my way across the bottom square and it's awful. If I told you I started this at 10 a.m. and the time now is about 6 p.m. and I'm around 45 to 50 centimetres down and I need to be 60. But I'm not doing it anymore, I give up for today, I'm knackered. So we'll finish it off tomorrow. Wish me luck. I've employed the help of an Eastern European coming over here, <laughs> stealing our jobs. <laughs> anyway, while she's doing that, I'm working on this guy, which is going to be the big corner post, which we're submerging in the concrete. At the moment, it's not quite long enough. I need 180 millimetres sticking out the ground, which comes up to here. And then I need this bit to be 60 centimetres long. And at the moment, it's only 32. So I'm going to weld on some pieces of rebar and extend the bottom. Dug us a hole. On a scale of one to ten, how much did that suck? Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect dash size. Sand. Well, this precarious looking jig took longer to set up than you would believe, but that bar there is going to be the layout of the gate, and then we're going to have another gate coming down this way. But next step is to concrete. Last pour. Thank God for that. Wait, where are you going? Well, there we go. That's it all done. With the last little bits left in the bottom of the cement mixer, down the hatch. <laughs> it's like having the, it's like the opposite of a poo. <laughs> well, when all was said and done, this part took two full days of work to get in place. I've now got to leave this 24 hours for the top to dry, and then it's seven days until the post can become load-bearing. But yeah, that was by far and away the most labour-intensive part of the project. I hope. So that's now the pillar for the second gate roughly in place. I've just got to wait for that epoxy resin to dry and then we can bolt it down.
Okay, so we've got the small gate roughly in place where we want it. It's currently only held on by magnets and a couple of bricks propping it up. This precarious looking jig up here is holding the hinge in place and I need to weld this bottom one on first and then this one I need to weld along the other side. But yeah, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to film this. I might just have to do it and uh, show you it afterwards. There we go, something like that. And there's the bottom and the top hinge after a bit of a tidy up. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about this. I accept my welding is bad, but so long as they hold, I'm happy. Nice. Now I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but you might have noticed at certain angles this seems to be a little bit kind of funky looking, a bit squiff. And that's because every single one of these reference points, none of them are 90 degrees. So I've had to line this post up here so that I'm not blocking my neighbour's right of way into their driveway. But this corner here then isn't 90 degrees. As you can probably tell, standing square onto the wall there, this does not come out at 90 degrees. But what I'm aiming for is this corner here being square. So that at least then, I know for a fact I'm gonna have enough space for the car in the front here and going back. So it's a bit higgledy-piggledy and it might look a little bit weird, but that's why it is the shape it is. And I am once again having to cut my day short because of the weather. So I'll carry on with this, hopefully, when it becomes dry again. Right, we've now got the right side of the new gate in place. I've just rested this bar along the top with a combination of pieces of wood and other rubbish. I've got this thing shimmed up to where it should hopefully be level. I'm going to do this one the other way around. I'm going to put the hinges on first rather than build the entire door because this thing's going to be heavy to lift up afterwards. still lines up. So this is the next step for the gate. I'm welding on pieces of thin rebar and what I want to do is create a sort of 
spiderweb motif going across and then with a little interlinking wibbly wobblies. So lots of welding of the rebar. I may not record much of this because I'm getting tired, so I might just show you it when I'm done. Or maybe I'll show you a few little bits. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. The world is my oyster. Right, here it is roughly at the halfway stage. I'm running low on rebar, so I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this anyway, and I need to take a break. We've obviously still got to do the underside here, and we've got to do this door here as well. So, as and when? Well, it's a new day, and I've got myself some more rebar, and I've finished up this door. I haven't yet started on the other, but before I go any further, I want to start thinking about how to lock these. I've welded this piece together, and that's going to go on the inside here. And then as you can see, there's a couple of holes there which I'm going to zip the angle grinder between in order to make a slot. And you'll kind of see where I'm going with this as I do it. Well, there is both the doors done, except for the fact that I miscounted and I ran out of one piece of rebar I need down here. So I'll have to get that tomorrow. But we've now got the sort of locking mechanism working. So that slides... Oh, if I can grab it! So that slides through there, and then obviously there'll be a padlock or something going through that. But for now, that'll do. Well, this is taking a while. Well, there's one half done. Now I just gotta do the other. <sighs> well, that took a really long time. Now I just need to acetone this down and paint it. And so begins the painting. Are you enjoying it? No. <laughs> well, as you can probably tell, we got caught once again by the weather, but whilst the paint says it's not recommended for use in damp conditions, we chose to mean that it's not recommended for us because we'll get soggy and we carried on. So hopefully that paint will hold up okay. Looks good though. So we're probably about halfway around this thing but I'm starting to lose the light. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit more, but then once I get to this part here where I'm gonna to have to do some cutting, I think I'm gonna leave that and the other door for tomorrow. I'll probably just show you it when it's done, to be fair, cause it's all just rinse and repeat. Drill, screw, drill, screw. A drill, a screw. So it's the next day and we've got this thing all finished up. I've got a little door here so that we've got privacy when we're not getting to the lock. I just need to find a bolt or something to put through here, but I can't find one. And then obviously that's where a padlock will go to lock this thing up. But I think for now, the next step is gonna be getting rid of all the old one, which I won't lie, I've been quite looking forward to. Oh, of course you are. Where's Doggies? Hello? 